four, three. Hi, neighbor. Welcome to my neighborhood. Can you say saxophone? Sure you can. I like the way you say that. Did you know that? Sure. Oh, it's Mr. McFeely. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. What time do you get up in the morning? So tonight, we have a very special show. We're going to be having on uh, David Sweatsloot's going to be on the show. Derek Hill will be here. Josh Jones is on the show tonight. We also have Angela Buchanan. And we also have a new guy right here in the studio, hair and makeup. We, got the new, we have some new sponsors. Jeff will be here. We have some new sponsors. We have uh, Sharif's going to provide limousine service for our celebrity guests and River Point Hotel for our celebrity guests. Also, we're having uh, Ronnie Hudson on the show next week from LA is coming up. Uh, we've got Dr. Moore, he's a new sponsor on the show. Uh, we've got Hair in Motion, does my hair. And then we got uh, Sal the Flower Guy, brings in these flowers every week. We also have, um, who's that? Who's oh, Doc's Trophy Shop provides our music awards for our musical live performing guests. So anyway, I tell you, um, we're at, like our hearts and prayers go out to um, the Philippines and Vietnam right now. They apparently had another um, disaster over there, a lot of flooding, a lot of evacuations and stuff like that right now. I want to tell you, uh, you can um, Google German Helmet Napa, right? And they have a show, but they edited it. So what happened was pg &E came over to the Victorian mansion. They're hitting the side of the house with a sledgehammer to access the electrical panel, turn off the electricity, right? Repeatedly, they're banging on it. They demoed the house. They hit a pole. <laughs> they hit a supporting beam, knocked the house down about another three and a half feet lower, endangering lives, their lives, our lives. They had a red tag house on both sides block the whole street off, tear the street up because they thought they broke a gas main. And uh, good thing pg and &E has got a lot of money because my attorney would be getting a hold of you Monday, right? So uh, remember the big fire they had a few years back ago? You know, a few years back they had that big fire with uh, pg and &E down here in the Bay Area and all that black smoke and they thought it was a terrorist attack, <laughs> stuff like that. So Officer Upchuck came out to arrest me uh, on the scene at the, at the Victorian Mansion. So keep protecting us from those dangerous Earthquake victims, right? <laughs> you know, so without, uh, and there was also witnesses there that saw them knocking the building up, and we got some video. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that up to my turn. Anyway, I want to introduce uh, my first guest, David Sweatsloot, on the show. David, welcome to the show. Thank you. How you been? Good. Good? Good, yeah. And um, what, is it, what is it that you do <clears throat> here in the Napa Valley, Cali? Well, basically, uh, Pally. I've been a licensed uh, general engineering contractor for the last 15 years. Right. Primarily doing concrete work, engineering work. And about a year ago, I decided with the drought and tired of mowing my lawn, hey, I'm going to try and find some artificial turf to install. Right. So I did, went out and shopped for it. And it took me a while to, to actually find somebody that actually sold it. Not a lot of people were selling it. So I found that the grass installed at my house loved it. Neighbors love it. The dogs love it. Kids love it. It's nice and soft, looks real. They're can I buy some grass off you? Yes, you can. Okay. So you can buy this piece if you like. <laughs> you got it in your pocket? No. But uh, yeah. the way they're making it now, it, it looks like real grass. It has the brown in it. I was going to say, you know, I remember the AstroTurf before, it looked, it looked like this wall back here. You know, it's like, it's yeah. like pasty and kind of pastel yeah. and, and look like rubber. And yeah. this looks like, this looks like a sod. It looks like turf. You, you know, really, it, looks like, it looks like you just, you're going to go out and lay some sod right yeah, here you know, really, or something, really right? can't tell. I mean, now it's, it looks so nice. But uh, so that gave me the idea to start another business. They even installed. got the little dead grass in there, too, the yellow yeah, ones. Exactly, <laughs> so yeah, exactly, like yeah. So it gave me the idea to, to uh, start a new, new, new division of my company, installing this uh, artificial lawn. Right. So uh, it's basically the, the, what you're going to save on your water is about 24,000 gallons a year for your average wow. lawn. Wow. So, it's about 30% of the household usage goes to watering your lawn. And 50% of that is uh, wasted on runoff, evaporation, wind. So there's a lot of waste that, you know, with, that, that goes into to having a real lawn. Um, the other benefit to this is, you know, one of my, my advertising pitches is that, you know, let me help you sell your lawnmower. Right. Because you don't need it anymore. <laughs> you know, it's it's a wonderful feeling when you save can, gas and everything. Yeah, else, you, right? you get off of work and you come home and you don't have to worry about mowing the lawn. It's one less thing you have to do. Plus, you're helping, you know, with the drought. 
I was going to say, now that they have the drought and people are let, doing the dead lawn thing, that's a new phase. People love that, right? Well, I don't like the neighborhood with dead lawns, yeah. right? You know, so this is the, and the solution right here. The city's giving you a dollar per square foot for cash for grass, and a lot of people are confused. I think they don't understand that there is something out there that looks real. And where can they go for that? The, uh, for the for the grass for the the, the you said the oh count. cash for grass is yeah, yeah, the yeah. city it's on their website I got I got grass for cash if anybody yeah you know, just off but, it. yeah <laughs> but um yeah so so they just go to the city exactly city of Napa exactly city of Napa yeah and the in the what you're gonna pay for the for the actual installation of the lawn you you should roughly have your money back in Dang. within two years so it's like free within it's two just, years in the long run it's a free freebie almost. then you sell your right. you you get rid of your lawn maintenance guy. You know, you and don't have to pay the hundred bucks a month for and that. And when you sell the house, you've already upgraded, and it, the house is worth more money. The value exactly, goes up. Exactly. Yep. Right? With about a fifteen-year life on the on the on the lawn. And we got about fifteen minutes left. How how uh, where can people get in touch with you? Like you have like a website, an email, a phone number, address. Yeah, I can give you my phone number. Okay. Uh, 707-266-8236 is my number. 707-266-8236. 3-6. Three, six. Three, six. And yep. we'll repeat that in the show so you get a pen and paper now so you can write that down and later. Uh, I'm a local company. I work right here out of Napa, born and raised in Napa. I went to Napa High School. So, right. um, yeah, you guys are old-time family right here. So old town, yeah. Right? I know, I know your cousin. Yeah. What's buzzing, right? What, yeah. So I, I, I know I know, uh, I know, I know Steve and I know uh, met your your aunt the other day or whoever that was, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And your uncle, uncle um, start, Hank? Starts, Hank, Hank. Starts with yeah. H, I was going to yeah. say. Uncle Hank, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I know, I know your whole family and stuff like that. And you also so, do the construction business? Oh, well, mainly concrete was my, that's my, nice. main, my main business. No wonder you're all like, because you, yeah. you have to move that stuff fast before it sets <laughs> yeah, and, and it exactly, like bulks yeah. you up, right? Yeah. Because if you don't get that stuff skeeted yeah, and set it out, yeah. and before it dries real quick, I'll tell you, you, what though, you gotta move is, it around. Right? This is a lot easier to install than concrete. <laughs> it's a lot easier to handle than a jackhammer too. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, yeah, right? So. Uh, so. It's just there's there's so many benefits to it. I just can't even explain the, and the as far as like the animals go. When I had my real lawn, right, I used to have to clean up after dogs, neighborhood yeah. dogs all the time. Now spray it off. For, no, no, there's nothing. They don't they like don't it. They don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they can't dig holes and <laughs> bury stuff. Yeah. Right? It's like what the hell. Yeah. yeah. So and that's, you got no worms. You got no moths nothing. needing it. Yeah. You got no bugs trying to chew it yeah, up. Yeah. Dandelions are growing up through there. You know. It's yeah. Like, none of that. No picking weeds. It's and, like it's like yeah. wait, and, and and it does. It looks it looks better than most real lawns. <laughs> yeah. It looks so, realistic. Man. So there's there's a few different different types that you can get, but you know. Basically, it's all you know, pretty like, much the same. They have like indoor and they have outdoor. And uh, they indoor have, they and have uh, for yeah. putting greens. You yeah, get yeah. you know the putting a real short yeah. strand, and then this one here is like three quarters of an inch. And then you can get some that are a little bit longer, you know, an inch and a half. Nice. But it just depends what you want. Uh, yeah, they've come a long way. And 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 how did and how did how did AstroTurf? How did that get his name? Oh, that's right. Okay, uh, back in 1960, the guy, this guy, David Cheney, invented AstroTurf. How did he do that? He just invented it. It was he was working for. But it was uh, like necessity is the mother of invention, kind of like. Not so much right then, but in 1966, <clears throat> the Astrodome was built. Right. And they didn't take into fact that the sunlight you need sunlight to grow real grass. <laughs> so the grass died. Damn. And then they had to rush to try and get something to replace it. So they replaced it with. They called it AstroTurf because it was the Astrodome. Then he became rich. Overnight. Exactly. Yeah. So, but it was kind of funny. They didn't get they didn't get it there in time. So they had to actually paint the the grass, the real dead grass, just to make it look spray you know, paint it green. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was funny. Yeah. Yeah. So we got about uh, twelve minutes left on the show. So I'm gonna introduce my next guest on the show. I'm gonna introduce um, Derek Hill out of. Originally out of Visalia, California, right? Originally, yeah. I was actually uh, born and raised in the Central Valley, right. Visalia, uh, Tulare County. Yep. Um, spent the first, probably the first ten years of my life there in the mid '90s. My family and I relocated to the Bay Area and um, graduated high school in Sonoma County. Um, went to college in Santa Rosa, uh, but from 2000 to 2009, I was here in Napa, and by that time, I had already had already developed my own independent film company and had already put a few films behind my belt. So Napa actually became kind of a prime area for me as an artist to work in right, uh, right. for those nine years. We shot a couple of films here in that time, um, Captured, that was released in 2009. Um, but from there, I did a lot of work down in Hollywood, was living and working down there. Um, and then back to the Central Valley, where I was um, helping to take care of my mom and some family 
things. And, and didn't, <laughs> didn't you guys have Eddie Hill Productions for a while too? We but? did. We actually originally started um, back in about 2000 is when we uh, created, we developed Eddie Hill Pictures. Um, and that was Brian, Eddie, and myself um, out of Vallejo. And right. We started the company. Um, and a few years later, we kind of parted ways. Um, he kind of took his end of the company. Um, he went to Sonoma County and then ultimately up to Washington, where he'd originally come here right. from. Further away from Los yeah. Angeles. Then, <laughs> further and further away from Los Angeles, yes. That's why I'm, I'm actually back in Napa now, thank God. Right, um, at least you're in California. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll stick with California, absolutely. Um, but no, but Eddie Hill Pictures then, I turned around and revamped the company and brought it to Napa, and that's when we started Dark Phantom Films. And, and you guys do uh, um, music videos, movies, do everything independent film from production? Independent film productions, everything mm -hmm. from music videos to Goth short films. Gothic music? Feature. Um, industry music? Uh, any, any kind of Everything, music? all of the above. Right. We, we collaborate with other local yeah, artists, right. and you know if they're looking to put a reel together or shoot a music video. You have a studio where they can do that here in Napa? Uh, we do. We and, will. And we'll, we're how, bringing, how can people get a hold of you? Like, do you have a phone number, address, email, I website, anything like that? I do have a phone number. Um, the best um, way, actually, right now, I'm still a Southern California number until we get revamped up here, right. um, but people can contact me. It's area code 559-802-6986. And we're also on Facebook. You can look us up, uh, Dark Phantom Films and Complete Media. And yeah, you can also just look me up on Facebook as well, Derek Hill and all of our- D-E-R-E-K? D-E-R-E-K. H-I-L-L. -L. -L. That okay. is correct. Right. And um, all of our Facebook uh, groups pages and all of our film pages actually are also connected to mine too. So you can either look us up, look us up okay. on YouTube, or um, go fish through my page. And uh, David, are you on are you on Facebook as well? No Facebook. Not yet. No. No, okay. no I was, but I got off. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to you in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Because we still got ten minutes. I know it's it's show a live show. It goes by time goes flies. You know, it goes by fast, right? You know. So so. Um, so you're on Facebook, they can get a hold, and tell me that phone number again real slowly. Oh, absolutely. And then get a pen and paper at the end of the show, because we'll uh, give you that information at the end of the show again. So how, how is that phone number real slow? Oh, no, the phone number, that's area code 559-802-6986. Okay. And it's also, you can actually even find it on the Facebook page as well. Right. And, and you get kind of you got some horror movies going on, a little blood and guts. Oh, and absolutely, scary absolutely. Kinda, well, I study Hitchcock, so nice. You know the psychological thriller right. suspense. But we did yeah, have we our did, we did that. Uh, was it uh, Shadow of a Doubt remake of Hitchcock film with uh, Mark Harmon down in Redwood City? Yes. I played a chauffeur, which is a far stretch since I did that for twenty <laughs> years anyway. Play uh, no talking part. <laughs> So, um, and who, who are some of the people you brought here on the on the set with you tonight? Here, oh, that, in the studio, in the yeah. live studio, uh, guests here. Who would you bring with you here tonight? Well, today I've actually got um, my best friend and business partner, Joshua Jones. Okay. Um, he's actually been working with me for. Welcome the last to the show, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. And Glad we you can also make it. Uh, have Angela Buchanan. Hello. Angela, Hi. nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you too. Right, you look nice. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. You look nice yourself. Oh, thank you. I try, right? So. So and and what is it? What is it? Y'all, you, you all do, all y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not from Texas. What what do you guys also? Well, it's all a collaborative effort. But I'm an executive producer and also artistic director mm -hmm. for the films. So my job is like through casting and um, costuming and makeup design and overall continuity in the film. And, um, and do you do and do you do the um, the casting for like uh, extras and background as well? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. I kind of help monitor the extras and. Keep them all on task. And do you do boom operator? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Key grip or no? One thing I've yet to do. Right, right. Um, but no, it's, it's been fun. It's been it's really exciting. It's always fun with all everyone being on and energy in the room. We just keep everyone on task, and that's kind of my job. I keep everyone on task. Do you do the continuity too? Like, mm -hmm. okay. I got my pad of paper, I'm making sure that yeah, the yeah, you stays gotta, where it's at. You got it. You got You got to be like, yep. <laughs> the next day. Was he wearing that shirt? Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh yeah. So be oh, right yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. And and um. Angela, welcome to the show. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Yeah, I'm going to be working with Derek. I met Derek back in, uh, what was it, 2006 or 2007? Right on the set of Captured. 2007. Yeah. So right on the set of Captured and helped him with a little bit of that. And on this project, we'll be, I think he's going to help me, have me do some co-directing, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Am I saying that correctly? Right. Um, I am an artist in Napa, and I do a lot of, uh, vocals and working on some collaborative music sessions with my boyfriend currently. So yeah, he's a nice cat. 
It's a nice guy. So you guys, so you do all kinds of creative things, right? I mean, Absolutely. I mean, Absolutely. You know, I like doing like I like doing some oil paintings. I like to play music. Or I like to sing. I like to direct. I like to write screenplays. I like to write books. I like to write music. You know, songs and you know, so anything acting. So anything kind of creative, you know, I think I kind of like that too. You know, well, it's right? Good you Fun mentioned stuff. the whole art side too, because we do a lot of reels, or are going to be doing a lot of reels for people that have like you know gallery type like portfolios that they want to do. Oh, nice. Because Derek also does photography as well, and, right? You know, can easily get together you know different portfolios or different reels for people to out showcase themselves. And how do people get a hold of you, Josh? You can actually get a hold of me at uh, my telephone number. It's best at seven zero seven six eight one six eight one four zero one two. 4012, so 681 4012. We'll repeat that at the end of the show. So get a pen and paper out there right now so you'd be ready for that. So you get like, uh, we got a little bit of time left here. So, and do you have a contact information as well, Angela? I do have contact information. Like a Facebook or I do email have a email or website? I also or have an email. On? And in fact, if you would like to hear some music that I've sang in, you mm -hmm. can look it up on lowercase d, lowercase b, 1135 in SoundCloud. You have to get the app of SoundCloud, SoundCloud. and then search the name DB1135. Lowercase right. D, lowercase B, 1135. Nice. Yes. And so, and then, um, so David. Yeah. So so what else does your construction company do right now? What else you guys do? Um, we do underground. Are you doing, I bet from the earthquake, <clears throat> I bet you got a lot of work cut out for you right now, like chimneys are Just, falling down, yeah, and yeah. you know, there's like 150 places are red tagged, you know, yeah, people are like yeah. going out of their minds. Actually, and, foundations you know. is, is another one of something that I do. So Can you jack it up, like the foundations no, and stuff? No, don't do that, and, it's a and, specialty, but. Uh, and move the house over and redo it yeah. and put it back, kind of? That's or? Well, it depends on how, how major of, you know, the, the damage is. That's but. about 700,000, you think you can hook yeah. me up? No. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's that no. Victorian mansion. Yeah, right? no. so, yeah, Some of it's, I mean, probably like you were saying, it's just gonna have to be torn down. No. <laughs> I mean, there's no way to fix some uh, of that stuff. I don't want to hear too that. No, just so. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's a historical landmark, so maybe the historical side, you pull some strings and something come up. Yeah. The Bell House. He was a politician here in the yeah, we'll Bay see. Area yeah. back 100 years ago and such. So maybe they'll salvage it somehow. Because everything. Uh, I got out with like a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> That's it. I <laughs> lost every right, but luckily uh, all that all the cash keeps flowing in from the earthquake relief programs and stuff. Oh, yeah. right? so, so, the, so, thank God for that. Yeah. Right? So, FEMA. Thank God for FEMA. Yeah. Huh? Thank God for Obama to sign FEMA into yeah. fact. Right? Did he sign it? In fact? No. 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 Just oh, for the, forget just him for the, then. He screwed. The, Screw the Obama. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I changed my mind. The little guy didn't get nothing, yeah. but the counties and the states all covered pretty oh. much. So, but Good. thank God I'm not a little guy. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, well, we got about three minutes left. So, did you want to say any any um, shout outs uh, at all, Derek, uh, or anything else, real quick? Oh, absolutely. No, I just um, <laughs> excited to be back in Napa, revamping the company. We're going right. to be up and running here very soon, bringing everything up from Southern California. Uh, I got two films in post production, um, two slasher movies. They should be coming out this next year. Do you have a title yet? Um, I do. The one that's coming out um, is called The Incident. It's actually a remake of the very first film I ever shot and <clears throat> produced back in high school. Can't um, wait for that. Just <laughs> I know. This has been a few years in the making, actually. Um, right now, our cut time is about two and a half hours. We're trying nice. to bring it down just a little bit. Uh, the other film that's coming out, though, is more of a pitch piece um, with Dimension Films and a few connections there, um, Halloween Vengeance. It's kind of being pitched as the next Halloween following Rob Zombie's uh, oh, one cool. and two. So. Yeah, I got I got I got a about a 120 minute piece. It's a screenplay. It's Deadly Island, but I got to go down to the Caribbean, right. filmed on location, so we don't have to build any sets. Maybe you can help me out with that. Oh, right? Absolutely. Gosh, so I'm going to read out some a uh, couple of shout outs myself right here, as we get ready to wind things down. We'll probably roll some credits. And we'll eventually mute our voices down and bring up some music in the background. But uh, I just want to say, uh, boy howdy, guest of the television show. Celebrity guests of the television show <laughs> stay at Riverpoint Hotel. <laughs> Transportation provided for celebrity guests <laughs> would be provided by Shane One Limousine. Uh, we would like to thank our guest right here, Derek Hill. We would like to thank Josh Jones right up here, Angela Buchanan, and also David Sweatsuit, who will be back on again too. And as well as it's always a pleasure to work with you guys and have you back on real soon. All all y'all, as my old co-host would say, he's from Texas. Uh, Roland Martinez from KSBY Radio, shout out to him. 
Hope you found a new gig. And then, <laughs> and then um, also our sponsor, Sal the Flower Guy, brings these flowers on right here every week. Uh, Doc's Trophy Shop brings our music awards for our musical guests like Ronnie Hudson for next week's show, coming up from LA. Hair in Motion, thank you, looks good. Uh, Dr. Moore and all my other sponsors, hey. And so, thanks to our live studio audience, our TV studio audience, our online audience, our captive audience at the jailhouse here that can't change the channel because they don't have the remote. And I just want to say all guests of the television show receive a smartphone, you get a, a new iPhone. So we had our cell phones set up over here for you guys, you know, uh, before, before you take off, make sure you get your parting gifts that you'll never part with. And, um, and I'll, I'll pay you guys later. And then God bless you and yours. So till next time, America, and watch our YouTube channel, Tyler Vision 707. So next week, Ronnie Hudson from Los Angeles. So the Tyler Vision show has like a, a fresh new lemony scent, pretty much. Ah, uh, we're out of here. So I'll be Space Ghost from the West Coast. And we'll sit back and just chat and visit a little bit now, right? So, so since this show was like so short, we have to have all y'all back.